A major health alert this morning in HealthWorks when it comes to energy drinks. New research shows those drinks could be dangerous for children and teens. The study in the journal Pediatrics says the drinks are overused and could lead to risks such as heart palpitations, seizures, strokes, and even sudden death. They say the ill effects are caused mostly by too much caffeine. Lymph node surgery has been routine in breast cancer treatment for years, but a new study now claims it may not be needed after all. Joining us this morning with some insight is Dr. Philip Salem of Salem Oncology. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank An you. important topic because, as we know, breast cancer is just so prevalent in women. I believe the last numbers were one in eight women, so this affects so many different people. Tell me about the new study and what this says for women who might be recently well, diagnosed. The, the new study addresses a specific issue and that's whether surgery on the armpit and the removal of 10 or more lymph nodes is a necessary procedure in all women who have nodal disease in the armpit. Mm -hmm. The conclusions of this study is that this kind of surgery is not necessary in 20 percent of women with breast cancer. Those women who have early disease and who have no evidence of spread to distant organs, this procedure is not necessary. And this means that these women are spared the the side effects, mm -hmm. the complications of the surgery. Before we talk about those complications, I would like to talk about the credibility of the source. And it sounds like this comes from a very credible source because so many women might be concerned and say, well, who is this information coming from? This is a study which is sponsored by the National Cancer Institute. And some uh, many, many cancer centers in America have joined efforts at this study. This is a very solid and credible study. So before this study came out, the typical routine surgery would be to remove all of those lymph nodes under the armpit. What type of things were women suffering after having that surgery done? The major complications from the surgery are swelling of the arm, the so-called lymphedema, mm -hmm. which is a major concern to women, infection, some limitation and motion of the arm and pain. What if someone doesn't have those removed then what type of treatment will they receive in order to get rid of the cancer in those areas? Uh, the concept is that once breast cancer reaches the lymph nodes it has probably reached other places in the body but that is still microscopic mm -hmm. so the treatment for the disease at this stage should be systemic treatment like systemic chemotherapy and hormonal treatment. In addition, many of these women also receive radiation therapy to the whole breast. Now let's talk about um, what would happen with that. Could you have targeted radiation where it would only have to go to that one region, but then you would also have to have chemotherapy to, to get rid of any cells in the entire body? Absolutely. Once the disease has reached the lymph nodes, the mainstay of therapy is going to be chemotherapy. What does research show then? If you, if a woman says, or a doctor tells her you're not going to have surgery to remove the lymph nodes, you're going to have radiation chemo, what are the results? Are they going to be better by doing that, or is it going to be the same as removing them, they just don't have all those side effects? Well, the new study showed that the results are exactly the same, except that women do not have to go through the complications of that surgery. So it sounds like this is something that, that would be a, a very big positive for the, the that female. Is good news for women on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and quickly, we're almost out of time, but I just want to, to say the, the fact that you always believe this, didn't you? This isn't new for you. This is not new for me at all. For the last 10 years in my practice, that's how I treated women with nodal metastasis and the mm -hmm. axilla because we have known for many years that once the disease leaves the breast, goes somewhere else, mm -hmm. it's already widespread. Well, thank you for helping spread the positive message, and it's very important for so many people. Good to talk to you, Dr. Salem. Thank you very much.